on set. Nancy Orr with the Canyon County Animal Shelter is joining us here with Roxy and someone out there has got to have room for this sweet girl. Yeah, she's a sweet girl. A little nervous. Um, Roxy came into us as a stray. She did have a litter of puppies with her when she came in. Of course, all of her puppies went oh, out really quick. They were cute too. And she's been <laughs> there for about a month and a half now. So she's looking for her forever home. She's a five-year-old spayed female train walker coonhound. Some people think hounds are high energy because they're bred to be hunting dogs, but she's timid, she's shy, she's quiet. I don't think I've even heard her bark since she's been at the shelter. Yeah. Wow. And she's just been looking around the studio the whole time, mm -hmm. just getting used. Just those, you see those hound eyes. You yeah, know, she does have those earlier. little sad hound eyes. And, and has she been, was she, has she been really affected ever since her puppies were adopted out and hasn't been without them, or has she been okay? She's been about the same. Okay, I mean, okay. she's probably was tired of those puppies at that Aww. point. Aww. Um, but, but she but does need a home still too. We can't forget about her. She does though, need a know. home. She's, you know, she's probably how trained um, she probably was a breeding dog for a while okay. so but she was real thin and really dry coated when she came in she shined up she's put some weight on she loves everybody that she meets um, just looking for a nice warm fireplace to spend the rest <laughs> of her life in front of you know go out go potty and Perfect get back season in the house for that right now too gonna be yeah, fall and Christmas exactly. would be good to have her at home now did you say why she came in was she just an owner surrender she, no, she came in as a stray oh, okay so yeah we Aww. don't know have any history on her but Looks like she's probably was an outside dog, probably was a breeding dog. Obviously won't be much of a hunting dog because she's mm -hmm. so timid and shy and sometimes her own shadow even scares her, but she just kind of tucks up close to the person she's with. A cuddler. Oh, then, she's right. kind of a cuddler, yeah. yeah. And what kinds of promotions are going on right now at the Canyon County? Um, we're shelter? gonna be at the Home Depot in Ontario this Saturday. Um, she'll probably be there because mm -hmm. she does pretty good at those events. She's pretty quiet. Um, and then we're gonna have, at least the last week of October, we're gonna have a ton ev of events. It's gonna be the last week of our challenge. So we're okay. looking for lots of adoptions. We still have Better With a Buddy on the cats. Adopt one kitty, get one free. We still have free cat Fridays. So every Friday, all of our cats six months and older is free adoptions. We still have seniors for seniors. So if our dog is seven years or older and the person that's adopting is over 60, it's a free adoption. Wow. So we still have a lot of events. We still have a lot of half price certificates out there too. And so look at that sweet face just looking out to people <laughs> out there. How sweet is Someone that? Adopted, and yeah. yeah, please. And she, um, it, She's five and a half years old, you say, uh -huh. and, and she's a bigger dog, so how much would you say she'd be if someone wanted to adopt she's her? She's a $75 adoption. She's spayed, microchipped, current on all of her vaccines. Okay. Um, she'll go with tags, a collar, um, food that she's been eating at the shelter. So. And really awesome. quickly, an update on the challenge that you guys have been a part of for several weeks now. We like just sent in our numbers for the month of September. This is nationwide, right? Nationwide. There's 50 shelters in it. Of course, we were first in August, the month of August, nice. in our uh, number of adoptions. So we'll see in the next week. Um, you can check us out on ASPCA Pro. And what do you win if you get first? Our shelter could win $100,000. So a lot on so the line here. So a lot here, on the so. line, yep. And it's going to help lots and lots of dogs and cats. Yeah, so you head out to Home Depot in Ontario this weekend uh -huh. if you get a chance. Yep. Adopt, adopting animals helps them, helps you, helps the shelter as a whole because hopefully you, you guys can bring home that big prize I hope as well. so, so, so we can save of, more animals. Yeah, a lot of good stuff coming yes. up. All right, thanks a lot, Nancy, thanks for joining for us, us this morning. And thank you as well, Roxy, <laughs> for being on this show.